Good morning friends. Welcome back to Panika Tutorials. In this video, I want to discuss about conditional statements or decision statements in detail for you. So I request everyone to watch the complete video for better understanding. Now when the decision statements or conditional statements are required, whenever you want to execute particular statements, if the condition is true, if the condition is false, you want to execute another block of statements. If you want to do such kind of programming, then we will use the conditional statements. Let's take the simple example. If it is raining outside, then you will carry the raincoat or the umbrella. If it is not raining, if it is sunny, will you carry the raincoat? No. If you wear the raincoat, people will laugh. Am I right? So, we have several conditional statements in Python, such as simple if, if else, else if ladder and then we have the nested if all these things i will discuss in detail for you first let me discuss the simple if for you now how the simple if will work first let me draw a flow chart always the conditional statements we will represent using this symbol in flow chart what is a flow chart flow chart is a pictorial representation okay of how the um, problem can be solved. Now let's take that you have the test expression, test expression or the conditional statement. Now any condition can get any one of the output. It can be either true or it can be false. If it is true, because we are discussing the simple if, then if the condition is true, we will execute certain statements or block of statements then if the condition is false if the condition is false okay if the condition is false we'll execute the statement which is there outside the if okay statement after if okay is it clear if the condition is true you will execute the block of statements after the block of statements you will execute what is the next statement is there if the condition is false you will not execute this block of statements you will directly execute the statement after the if statement now let me write the syntax for the simple if and then I will discuss with a simple example. For an if, you need to use the keyword called if. And then you will have the test expression or a condition. Okay. Then you will have the column. This is very important. You will have if, test expression, okay, column. Then remember one thing, whenever we have discussed the C programming, we will have if test expression will be there, okay. Now we will have a block of statements. If the condition is true, whatever the statements I want to execute, I will ex I keep them inside these curly braces. If it is only a single statement, then these curly braces are optional. If you have multiple statements, if you want to execute, if the condition is true, all the statements we will write within these curly braces. But Python supports the indentation. Okay. Now, in Python, we no need to have these curly braces. What is the indentation is, once you give the column and you press the enter, the cursor will come here. Means it will leave the one tab space or four character space after this suppose if this is the starting you are writing the if here okay and then test expression if you enter column and if you press enter then cursor will automatically come here so this space will be left so this concept will call it as indentation in python indentation is very important indentation will tell you the block of statements you want to execute if the if condition is true. Suppose let's take that you have statement 1. You have statement 2. You have statement 3. Okay. Then if these three statements if you want to execute if the condition is true. 
if the condition is false if the condition is false if you want to execute statement 4 then you can write from here okay if you press the enter after statement 3 again it will come here you can press the backspace it will go to this here the cursor will go to the starting then you can enter whatever you want so the statements which are there in this indentation we will call them the statements belong to the if block so look at here if test expression already i said the test expression can be either true or false if it is true these statements will be executed and also after executing statement 3 statement 4 also will be executed so if the test expression is true okay statement 1 statement 2 statement 3 statement 4 will be executed if the test expression is false then we will not execute the statement 1 statement 2 statement 3 directly we will execute the statement 4 so if this test expression is false only statement 4 will be executed is it clear this is very simple you have a if keyword test expression semicolon okay then once you press enter it will start the indentation what are the statements you want to write within the if block you will write in them so these are the block of statements belongs to if then you will write the statement 4 now let me discuss with a simple example for you you want to check whether a given number is equal to 10 or not okay if it is equal to 10 you want to press it is equal to 10 okay now let me discuss how can we do it already in the last few videos i have discussed how to read the input from the user so i will write, declare some variable n we are not declaring it we are just using it okay then as i want to make it as an integer type so i will do the type casting int then I will use a function called input. Okay. Then I will write enter number. Okay. So on the console it will display as enter number. Now once the user has entered the number, the input function will return it as a character. Now I want to make it as an integer. So that's why I'm doing the typecasting. Now once I got the n okay now i will check if n is equal to is equal to 10 i am comparing it see this is the comparison operator double equal to is for you are comparing whether the value which is there in the variable n is equal to 10 or not if you simply use equal then it is an assignment one okay i hope you have understood the difference between equal operator and assignment operator now look at here if the condition is true you want to print see once you press enter after the column the indentation will start you want to write print okay equal something you want to write okay and you want to do good start you want to write good start okay if it is not equal you have to say you have to end the indentation here you have to write print okay good luck okay that's all this is what the you, program you want to enter. So once you run this program, on the console it will come like enter number. Once you enter a number, suppose some 5 you have entered. If you enter 5, then look at here. 5 is equal to equal to 10? No. So these statements will not be executed. It will just give an output called good luck. Suppose next time, you have enter 10 then it will print the output as equal good start and good luck this is the way the simple if will work if you want to know better way now let me discuss these things practically 
in the Jupyter Notebook. Now let me demonstrate the program in Jupyter Notebook. So I want to read an input from the user and store it in a variable called n. So let me use the n is equal to input enter a number. Now we know that if user enter a number, the input function will return a string only. But I want to store the integer value only. So then I will do the type casting. Okay. Whatever the input function will return, I am converting into an integer and store that value in the variable n. Now, I want to verify whether the given number is equal to 13 or not. If it is equal to 13, I want to print equal, equal to 13. Okay, and then I want to print good start for python programming okay these are the two statements i want to execute if the condition is true okay otherwise i want to print all the best okay look at here as i told you earlier once you enter the semicolon and press the enter then the indentation will start. It will leave some space and then you have to write the statement. So the cursor will be there. Then you, whatever the statement you want to write, you can write it. So it, the indentation will help you to understand the interpreter that these are the statements you need to execute if the condition is true. If the condition is false, this statement you need to execute. Okay, even if the condition is true, this statement will be executed. Even if the condition is false, this all the best will be executed. I hope it is clear for you because the all the best will be executed after executing the if condition. If the condition is true also equal to 13, good start for Python programming, all the best will be printed. If the condition is false, only all the best will be printed. Now let me run the code. Let me enter the value 11. Now 11 is equal to 13, the condition is false. Then we will get only the output as all the best. You can verify here. Let me run the code again. This time, let me give the value as 13. If I give the value 13, 13 is equal to 13. So the condition is true. So the statements which are there in the if block will be executed. So we will get the output as equal to 13. Good start for Python programming, all the best. I hope it is clear for you. If you still have any doubts, feel free to ask me in the comment section. I will try to clear your doubts as early as possible. Thank you for watching the complete video. Have a nice day.